Information about which nursing homes in Ohio are reporting cases will become public knowledge. The state is launching a database on its coronavirus website detailing where the cases are. And as Five on Your Side investigator Scott Knoll reports, now nursing homes will be required to share that information with residents and their families. Health departments stress in most cases nursing homes were doing a good job of keeping families notified when a COVID-19 case is confirmed. Now under the state's order, they'll have to make that notification. And for the first time, that list of facilities will be on the state's website. Until now, what we've known about clusters of COVID-19 cases in Northeast Ohio nursing homes has largely come from short news releases. But now with the state's order, all that is changing. And that's a positive, says Lorain County's Public Health Commissioner Dave Koval. So one of the big problems, and we heard this early on, was that peop some people in these um, homes, if their loved one was in a home, they were the first time they were hearing it is on the media, and they weren't necessarily getting a, a contact first. But that's no longer an option. Now nursing homes have to notify residents and their families within 24 hours of a worker or resident testing positive for the virus. <laughs> Until now, the state and the counties have largely not released that information. But Governor Mike DeWine says people have a right to know. If you're thinking about uh, taking a loved one or if you're thinking about going to a nursing home, you have every right to know what the situation is there. Koval calls it a good move, helping to calm fears and believes the state, with access to its own database of cases, is best equipped to handle it. We can't really query based on on the facility. So when people request, well, how many do you have from this facility? Well, that a it changes quickly, and then b what we're doing is looking at each case and, and investing it as case by case. So for us, it's a, little, a lot better for this to happen at the state level. Yet there are concerns. We don't want these uh, businesses, long-term care facilities, and nursing homes to be stigmatized. Cuyahoga County's health commissioner worries some may see the list and then decide to avoid infected nursing homes altogether, potentially limiting shipments of supplies needed by residents and workers. Health officials stress nursing homes doing what they can to protect some of the most vulnerable to the virus. It's not a failure of leadership in any of those organizations or a failure of everyone wanting to do the right thing. This is a reflection of the degree to which our community has been impacted by coronavirus or COVID-19. Health officials stress the list of nursing homes with infections is only expected to grow as more cases are discovered, saying the list you see today is likely not the list you'll see in the days and weeks ahead. In Parma, I'm 500 Side Investigator Scott Knoll.